Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk something about loss and cost function before proceeding to our gradient descent algorithm. Okay. So we all know that we have we will be provided with a training data set, right? We will have our training data, it will be of the form x comma y. So there can be many training examples and the number of training examples denoted by m, correct? So x is our feature, y is our actual value. And we know that we have our linear regression hypothesis as a function of x, which is given by theta 0, x 0 plus theta 1, x 1, correct? The output of this is called as predicted value, predicted value denoted as y hat, okay? Now, when we take a first individual examples, let's say I am taking first examples actual value that is y1 and predicted value of the for the first example y hat 1. So, the difference between y 1 and y hat 1, similarly the difference between y 2 and y hat 2, likewise we can have difference of m examples right y m and y hat m. So, this individual differences together we call it as loss. Okay, loss with respect to individual training example. Okay. For cost function, we combine all of these loss together and take the average of it. Okay. So that we call it as cost function, which is the combination of all losses. Okay. Losses of individual training example combined together will provide us the cost function. So, how do we denote the cost function? So, there is a notation for that. So, we denote cost function as j a function of theta is equal to 1 by 2m summation of i is equal to 1 to m the difference between y hat of i minus y i okay right and square so this is our cost function for linear regression this is also called as mean square error okay mean square error so if you substitute the value of y hat like hypothesis right so, you can either write it as j of theta is equal to 1 by 2 m summation of i is equal to 1 to m, right? Then instead of y, I will say h theta of x i minus y i whole square. So, here this is y hat of i, right? So, this is our predicted value. Now, if I substitute the equation for our hypothesis, the cost function will be j theta is equal to 1 by 2 m summation of i is equal to 1 to m. So, our hypothesis is theta 0 f 0 of first training example, ith training example plus theta 1 x 1 of ith training example, right? So, this is our hypothesis, also called as predicted value, right? Y, I, y hat of i minus y i, which is our actual value, okay? The square of the difference. So, this is our actual cost function for univariate linear regression, okay? So, this is also called as mean square error. So, why we are squaring this here? So, since we are subtracting the value values, right? If this value is lesser than this value, we, it will result as in the negative output, right? So, in order to avoid the negative outputs, we are squaring them because positive into positive is positive, negative into negative is positive, right? So, in order to get the positive result, we are just squaring the difference here. So, that is the sole purpose of this. And this two here, we are introducing for the purpose of simplification in mathematical calculation. 
even if we do not have to and if we go on simplifying the cost function it will do well but in order to make it simple for our gradient descent algorithm we introduce this to here okay so this is about cost function of linear regression univariate linear regression uh, you you just remember this j theta its cost function is a function of theta okay so it is parameterized by thetas so this big theta here consists of theta 0 and theta 1 in case of univariate linear regression okay so this is very much important in order to understand gradient descent algorithms okay so that's all for this video hope you understood the concept of loss and cost function and if you have any question on this particular equation on this msc mean squared error cost function please reach out to me in comment section i will try to answer you hope you all understood it uh, till we see you next time enjoy the learning bye bye